Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today we're going to do my top five budget micarta folders, and the, the awesome thing about that is, is micarta up until, you know, this year was only on mainly high-end knives, and even then, there wasn't a lot of knives in it, uh, you know, like, oh, for instance, like this, this, um, artisan this is you know a 200 or 180 dollar knife or something like that um and that's you know you didn't really see it on many production knives unless somebody modified a knife and it's one of my favorite materials if not the favorite my favorite material on a pocket knife so i'm really happy to see that they're coming out with a lot of budget knives in my carta so let's get into my top five First one is the CJRB Centros. This is an excellent pocket knife. Um, I had the G10 version of this. Um, my buddy uh, Dylan Mallory designed this knife for CJRB. They did a collaboration, and I think it's a good looking knife. If you like a bigger knife, it's got a nice, you know, longer blade on it. It's slim. It's pretty slim in this dimension in the pocket. Feels feels good in the hand uh it's a pretty good slicer it's like 18 thousandths behind the edge d2 steel with a nice stone wash on there uh easy access to that lock bar and one thing i like about uh the next three that i'm gonna show you are cjrb um i think it was cjrb correct me if i'm wrong if anybody knows they did a post i think on instagram or something like that and they were using uh american micarta and that's a big difference because there's a huge um uh, i don't know lackluster in some of the chinese micarta i don't know what they use maybe it's the epoxy or whatever the, the resin that they're using i don't know but you can definitely tell it, it looks a lot classier feels better and it grinds a lot better so uh, just a great pocket knife. You got a deep carry pocket clip. Thumb studs are comfortable. Action's amazing. Pretty drop shut. Good blade to handle ratio on there. And uh, if you don't like this one, I got an honorable mention. And these two, I mean, pretty much I, I like them about the same. You know, I just like this one because it slices a little better. But this is the CJRB uh, Feldspar, the large Feldspar. Just look at that. Would you look at it? That's some beautiful green micarta. Green canvas micarta, if I didn't say. Um, both of these D2 steel. Uh, let's see. Like I said, you can see the size difference. The feldspar, just a little bit shorter. Uh, not not by a whole lot. It's the the feldspar is it's got a little bit thicker of a grind at least mine does this, mine's at twenty thousandths this one's at eighteen thousandths you know there it's a minute difference when you're cutting but uh, both flat grinds both D2 steel um, easy access to that lock bar good action on this one as well and uh, both of them are contoured you can see that a nice contour on there love seeing that. Uh, the one thing about the Feldspar that's pretty classy, they got inset liners in there. You can see they, they hid the liners inside. They made pockets inside there. And on the, um, on the Centros, you can see the liners are just flush with the scales. So just depends on what your flavor. One that would have probably beat both of these for me, another CJRB is the Raya because I absolutely love this knife and I would definitely recommend this one, but mine unfortunately had a lock slip issue. I've, I, I think I fixed the problem completely now, but you know, being that it had it, I, I, I don't want somebody to get it and theirs have the same issue, especially when I saw people's comments down below saying that they, they had some lock shit, lock, slip issues on theirs and uh you know it's a bummer one thing i like about this one is is they use their new propri proprietary um uh la la powder metallurgy steel on here it's that ar 
RPM9, and I must say, I've used this thing a good bit, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. It, it sharpens easy, it drops really well, and it holds a pretty darn good edge. You know, uh, it's stainless. Uh, you know, it, it compares with both of these, maybe even a little better. I, I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't got to put these two head to head in the shop, but that's something. If once I do, I will, uh, I'll update y'all. But look. See, that, that's American made my car, and I'm going to show you the difference in a second, but that is just mm-mm-mm. Oh, I have that same deep carry clip, except they were nice and put a smaller version of this clip on there. All of them. Well, nope. The right even has countersunk pocket clip screws. These two don't. And you do have some nice little uh, accents on there, some copper color accents let's see these two are left and right tip up only this one's only right hand tip only which makes sense because this one only has a thumb set on the uh for the right hand because you couldn't fit one on that side so there you go that's that's my my two picks for cjrb like i said this is my first one but you know you can't go wrong with either one of these and the price on the centros is 53 dollars feldspar 52 dollars and if you you know want to test try it out anyway the raya is 55 dollars and i think all three of these are in stock right now at the time of recording this video at blade hq so there you go all right the next one this is my my slicing champion out of out of the bunch and that is the Civivi hooligan now this is what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know if they they might have changed up uh, their micarta. I've I've tried to uh, do a little sanding on here, and literally you can see that it's like gummy. You know I know how to work with micarta. I've made I've made a good bit of scales, and it I was trying to get some of the uh, texture out of the material that they used, and you just can it seems like they don't have a whole bunch of material in there maybe or the poxies i don't know i don't know what it is but let me just show you the difference look at the difference you can see that that tight weave in there it just looks nice like even on the side you can see this is just i don't know it, it felt really really gummy too whenever i was uh when i was trying to sand on this but the hooligan is you know a nice smaller edc this thing slices like a champ it's got a high hollow grind mine's 12 thousandths behind the edge d2 steel it holds a good edge mine's super smooth action's good you can spotty flick it uh easy access set lock bar deep carry pocket clip uh two-way positional tip up only uh, comfortable thumb studs and the hooligan comes in at $54 and like I said this one is the slicing champ out of the bunch and uh, honorable mention mainly because I don't have the D2 variant of this and this one's not in stock but the Civivi Elementum this has to be probably their best seller because they've made every imaginable variation that you can think of of the elementum they made 9000 in d2 with copper brass uh rhinos tusk uh armadillo leg you name it they've made scales for it and this was i think it was a blade hq exclusive this is versions the s35 vn with the coated blade i think it, well that's just use on there i don't know it's tumbled coating is starting to wear off right there but I, I use this a good bit now I don't know if this is the same type of micarta I don't think it, it does not have that same look it is different color but it still doesn't uh, feel like the American micarta so I don't know where these but this one feels a lot better at least than the the hooligan but the Elementum, I absolutely love it. Um, I didn't like, I have, this is my second Elementum, my D2 version. 
whenever they first came out. It's got a little thicker grind on it, and I think the blade stock's a little thicker too. And the one I had just, it, the detent was a little too rough on it. And when I got this one, the aesthetics really did it for me. I don't know, that black, that coated blade with that green micarta, I, I love that look. And um, I think I paid 90 bucks or something like that. I think that's a great deal for what you're getting here. And uh, like I said, this is definitely a pop popular knife. I did check on uh, Blade HQ's site. They have several D2 uh, versions with micarta in different colors. And I think they, uh, they ran $53. I'm going to try to leave a link to all these knives uh, down below. So uh, forgive me if I forget because my brain's terrible. But I will definitely try to do that for y'all. But can't go wrong with either one of these. Hooligan. Hooligan's got, you know, a wider feel, but it's got these designated finger trials. So some people don't like that because it doesn't fit everybody's hand. Fits my medium-sized hand. I get a four-finger grip, but my finger is sitting on that back side right there. So, you know, this is a more uh, neutral handle. So you can't go wrong with you can't go wrong with any Civivi. They, you know, it, it's it's that weed quality that everybody knows and loves. So, all right, the next one's a itty bitty little guy, and that is the Kaiser Lieb. Uh, this is one of those fifth pocket knives. This thing's a fidget. This thing has fidget factor going through the roof. This is in N690 stainless steel. Um, let's see. It is an Azo design. Um, I don't, I'm not too big on the pocket clip. It's, it just looks funky. It looks like an afterthought. But the action on this thing is super nice. The flipper's comfortable. There's no jimping that's going to tear up my finger. And you can push down on there very easily, rock it out, or you can light switch it, both of them. Great action on it. Um, and they have those shadow, shadow boxed uh, liners. I mean, scales over the top of the liners just means that the, the liners are protruding out, sitting proud of the scales. And this is a brown micarta. Not sure, you know, where they get their micarta from. Their, their micarta looks better than the Civivi 2, I, I think. But this one is at a higher grit, so you don't really feel, this one you can feel the fabric. This one you can kind of, I find the fact when you can feel that fabric, you get a lot better traction. This one's not bad, and it does have that, that aluminum pivot collar just for that contrast. Just a nice looking knife. I don't like the pocket clip personally. N690 is a, a good stainless, good budget stainless. So there you go. The Laib is $55. All right, the next one uh, I think is probably one of the best bangs for your buck if you're looking for a titanium frame lock in micarta, and that is the Ontario Chikra, or I don't know how you say that. I don't really like the aesthetics of the knife. I just, I don't know, to me it's ugly, but it, it it's a good little work knife. It's very lightweight. The micarta... The micarta, I think they got it from the same factory as this because it looks it looks just alike. They both pretty UGLY. In my opinion, you might love the look of it. It just it looks I don't know it looks cheap, and you can't you can feel you can feel the texture a little bit on here, but this one's an Allstate steel, not my favorite steel, but it's a it's a decent budget steel, and uh, Ontario seems to do a good job on it. Flipping action is excellent, nice and smooth. Drop shut, titanium frame lock, tip up or tip down, right hand, and sorry lefties, they didn't give you an option. Flipper tab's okay, it's not too pointy right there, it's pretty comfortable, uh, easy access to the lock bar, deep carry, uh, like I said, very lightweight, and this bad boy comes in at a whopping 46 bucks, a titanium frame lock. I will say they got another one coming out that I'm very excited. It's like, I think it's a sheep foot blade. I can't really, really remember sheep's foot blade or something like that. Um, I just saw it on Knife Center. They're, you know, coming soon. 
and I'm definitely going to pick up that one. I, I'm much rather the aesthetics of that one. It's supposed to be, you know, like a brother to this one. So definitely check that out. Good purchase if you're looking for a good budget uh, frame lock, especially one in Micarta. All right, the last one is the Tucson TS85. Uh, this one's a D2 steel. I just like the shape. It's a lover to hate design. This one is in black linen micarta. At least that's what it said. It kind of looks like canvas to me. That's kind of polished. It is contoured. Now, one thing is that it's, it's not a light knife. It has stainless liners in there. And it's a chunky boy. As you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty wide. Just show you real quick. Uh, 0.61 inches so it's over a half inch thick but that that blade shape is is a uh, is good nice and useful excellent action comfortable in hand it fills out the hand d2 steel uh, holds up pretty good that is the TS 85 and I picked this one up for $45 on eBay I think you can pick them up on Amazon as well I'll try to leave the link to the Amazon one and one more I will mention mainly because I haven't used it enough to know if I like it better than the 85, but that is the T, the Tucson TS-227. This one is in stainless steel, and this is in their 14C-28N. With Tucson, I, I'm, I don't love, I don't like uh, some of their steels because they're very hit or miss on the heat treat quality, in my opinion, but their 14C-28N, I find, does a, great, a really good job, you know, just as good as any other 14C-28N I've, I've dealt with. Uh, super, this thing's so smooth, it'll guillotine you if you're not careful. But see, it, it, whenever it doesn't get past that detent ball till after it hits this, so you got to get it past that and boop, it drops shut. Love that bow shaped blade. This is some funky looking canvas micarta as well with a green backspacer to me, it looks out of place. I think I paid $65 for this one, and this is a newer design, it's a Jelly Jerry. <laughs> I laugh every time I say that. Jelly Jerry, tip up, right hand carry only. Uh, nice high uh, flat grind on this one. And I, like I said, I think I picked this, picked this one up for no, $65 on eBay. Uh, they have them on Amazon, but they're currently unavailable. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.